פיצלת את כולנו, וודי. אתה עוזרי הנאמן. אני חבר שלך. אני חבר שלך. קדימה, נאסוף את העדר. כשהדרך נראית ארוכה, ואתה כל החוק ממיטתך רכה. If being about what to talk about for my bat mitzvah celebration, I wanted to relate things I learned in the Torah to things I especially like. Many of you know that I love the Toy Story movie series. For those who didn't know, now you do. So today, I'd like to talk about some of the values we learned from the Torah and how they also appear in the Toy Story movies. <laughs> Our relationship to Judaism is ongoing, and this helped me in finding the true joy of what it means to be Jewish. The first thing I want to talk about is the value of welcoming guests. In Hebrew, it's called Hachnasad Orchim. One parsha that deals with this is Bayera. In this parsha, Abraham was 99 years old, and he was in pain from his Brit Milah, and the day was very hot. He was sitting at the opening of his tent when he saw three travelers. He invited them to his tent and promised them bread and water. But what did he do instead? He brings them a feast fit for a king. Not only that, but he got his whole family, Sarah and Yishmael, to help him make the whole meal. How cool is that? Abraham energetically entertained three guests so lavishly, we conclude that he constantly performed such acts of kindness. Haknasat or Chim is also found in two of the Toy Story movies. In the first film, Andy's toys welcome Buzz Lightyear, the new toy, to Andy's room. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Oh, I'm so glad you're not a dinosaur! Wait, wait. Thank you. Now, thank you all for your kind welcome. In Toy Story 3, whenever new toys get donated to Sunnyside Daycare Center, Lotso and the other resident toys welcome them. <laughs> Toys! Well, hello there. Welcome to Sunnyside, folks. This value is important because when you are new in a strange place, you will want to feel accepted and perhaps want to make new friends. When we move to Teaneck, you are invited to people's houses for meals. Now that we are full residents, we welcome other new people, just as other people welcomed us. Our whole family participates in this mitzvah. The next value is chesed, loving kindness in English. It is found in the parsha Chayei Sarah. What happens is that Abraham is old, so he sends Eliezer, his servant, in search of a wife for Yitzchak. Eliezer travels very far and comes across a well in Haran. He meets Rivka and asks if he could have some water. She draws water from the well, not only for him, but also for all of his ten camels. Did you know that each camel drinks between 30 to 50 gallons of water just to get enough? That means she hauled at least 300 to 500 gallons of water. This is truly an act of chesed. This value is found in two of the Toy Story trilogy films. In Toy Story 1, Woody helps not only Buzz and himself to escape, but saves the other toys from being hurt by Sid Phillips, a toy destroyer. In Toy Story 3, when Lotso has been really mean, Woody still saves him from a shredder, even though Lotso later is evil. Help! Please! Help! Woody! Go! Go! 
Chesed is important because everyone needs help sometimes. While we do chesed just for the sake of helping, not because we may get help in return, still, you never know when you might need someone to help you out. Another value is emuna, which means trust or faith. In Parsha Lech Lecha, God tells Avram, who is known later as Abraham, Go forth from your land and from your birthplace and from your father's home to the land I will show you. He didn't know where he was going or how long it would take to get there, but he put faith and trust in God. This was one of the ten tests of belief in God, the last one being the Akedah, Binding of Yitzchak. This value is also found in the Toy Story movies. Throughout the series, Woody has faith in Andy. Also, Woody and Buzz trust each other after they escape from Sid. And in Toy Story 2, Jesse trusts Woody when they jump out of an airplane. Jesse, let go of the plane! What are you crazy? Just pretend it's the final episode of Woody's Roundup! But it was canceled! We never saw if you made it! Well then let's find out together! What is important about this is that you have to trust God. We do this by keeping the mitzvot that God commanded us to do. This is one of the many ways we preserve our Jewish heritage. Next, I will discuss three interrelated values, responsibility, loyalty, and hatzalah, or rescue. These values appear many times in the Torah. In Parshat Lech Lecha, Abraham's nephew, Lot, is taken prisoner in a war. So Abraham got 318 men and went to war to rescue Lot. In Parsha Shemot, Miriam watches over her baby brother, Moshe. Moshe later saves a Jewish slave from an Egyptian, stops a fight between Jews, and ultimately returns to his people to lead them to freedom. These values are found in the mitzvah of Ahavat Yisrael, to love every Jew, and pay Yom rescuing captives like Gilad and Shalit, and Pekua Nefesh, saving lives in danger. Kol Yisrael Harevim Sefazet. Every Jew is responsible for one another, and we are warned, Lo Tamo. Al Ogam Brecha. Do not stand idly by our neighbor's blood. No one stands alone. We are members of a family, a community, a world, and we are all responsible for each other's well being. The connection with Toy Story is in the first two films. In the first one, Woody saves Buzz when he is taken by Sid Phillips, a boy that will destroy him just for fun. Woody is taking a big risk. He knows that if captured by Sid, it will not be pleasant, and it certainly won't be. But the mitzvot of responsibility and rescue are more important, and he rushes to Buzz's aid. Later, in Toy Story 2, when Woody is captured by Al McWiggin, who will sell him to a toy museum, Buzz shows off his loyalty and sense of responsibility when he goes to rescue his friend, stating, Woody once risked, risked his life to save me. I couldn't call myself his friend. If I weren't willing to do the same. So who's with me? We are all members of our families, community, and the whole world. Each of us is responsible for one another. As a bat mitzvah, I too take my place as a responsible member of the Jewish community, watching out for and caring for others. An additional value I will tell you about is the value of tzedakah or righteous giving of money and help to those in need. The Torah commands us to protect vulnerable people, widows, orphans, and immigrants, and to be generous to the poor. One law is to allow people 
who cannot afford to buy food to glean or pick up crops left in the field after harvesting. In fact, a portion of the field must be set aside for the poor to glean. In the Gila, Ruth, Ruth is a poor widow who comes to Israel with her mother-in-law. She goes to glean wheat in the field of a wealthy relative named Boaz. Boaz instructs his workers to make sure that Ruth gets plenty of wheat, even by leaving extra wheat in the field for her. This is true righteous giving. In Toy Story 3, Andy's mom donates Molly's toys to Sunnyside Daycare Center. In the end, if you haven't seen this, this is a spoiler, just saying. Andy gives his toys, even his favorites, Buzz and Woody, to a little girl named Bonnie, knowing that the toys he no longer plays with will have a new home making someone else happy. The root of the word sadaka is sedek, which means acting in a just way, making sure that everyone is treated fairly and that we give special consideration to those like the poor who are especially vulnerable. Giving charity is one form of sadaka, and one way I help is by donating some of my money, books, and toys to other people who don't have enough. Our prophets teach us that the reason people are poor is not due to anything they did, but to social injustice, and we are commanded to correct this through giving. After all, the earth and everything on it belongs to God and is just loaned to us. A person's worth is measured in mitzvot, not material goods. Think about it. You remember what people did, not what they owned. Now I will tell you about the value of standing up to peer pressure. When the Jews lived in Egypt, it was an exciting place and culture. However, we stayed strong in our religion and didn't change our names, language, clothes, or culture. We didn't intermarry or assimilate, no matter how tempting the culture was. In Toy Story 3, Barbie, at first seduced by an easy, fun life with Ken at the expense of her friends, chooses to reject the temptation and stick with her family and friends once she understands what she would be giving up. Bad baby! Bad baby! Huh? What's going on? B Barbie! I, I told you to wait in the dream house. What are you doing to my friends? Get in. <laughs> Barbie, wait! Don't touch me! We're through! Barbie! I did... Oh. Then you give me my scarf back! Ow! She would rather suffer the fate of her friends than give up what she believes in. We learn from this to stay united as an extended family. Even though the outside world is sometimes very tempting, I know that I am part of the extended Jewish family and nation and that while I can enjoy much of what the rest of the world has to offer, I will always be Jewish, even when it is difficult. Why? Because being Jewish is part of a tradition that has brought and continues to bring important values to the world. Every mitzvah reminds us about what is important. Spending time together every Shabbos reminds us about the importance of family, and that the time we spend together is more important than the latest TV episode or shopping for things. Keeping kosher reminds us to think about the food we eat and not to give in to every urge or desire. The Torah teaches us that all humans are created, B'Tselem, Elohim, in the image of God, and every individual is unique and valuable, that we have a mission to perfect the world in partnership with God. Finally, I will tell you about moving on. In the Torah, Avram was told by God to leave his hometown of people who worshipped idols to go to the land of Canaan. Sarai, his wife, left with him and became his partner in teaching monotheism, the belief in one God. Later, Rivka left her own family to marry Yitzchak, and Rachel and Leah, too, left their home to go with Yaakov. Each gave up the life that they knew for something better, and all became the matriarchs of the Jewish people. In Toy Story 3, Andy grows up and is going to college. He no longer plays with his toys, but still has loving memories of them and does not want to let them go. At first, he wants to put them in the attic, but at the end, the other spoiler alert gives them to a new owner, Bonnie Anderson. The toys agree too, first led by Buzz, 
and finally with Woody that they are ready to move on to a new owner, once they realize that Andy has outgrown his toys. We all grow up and move on, leaving our childhood behind, preserving the memories, but going on to new phases in life. As a bat mitzvah, I will take on the challenges of womanhood. There will be more responsibilities and mitzvah, and opportunities to help others and new adventures as a young adult. It is sometimes difficult to move on and give up what I am familiar with, but I am looking forward and I am excited to grow in Torah values and gain more independence. Thank you.